Hey there and thank you for checking out my video, full course on colors and lights, as well as all of my other premium courses are available on Skillshare. Go there through the link in the description to get two months for free. And now let's start our video. First, let's talk about color lookup. I'm just going to hit on this and as you can see, the new adjustment layer appeared, but it looks a little bit different than the other adjustment layers we're working with. So what's going on here? Color lookup is basically about color lookup tables or 3D LUTs. You can choose the LUTs that Adobe software has in offer and you can apply the 3D LUT to your image. That will be some random effect because these are sort of presets that are already pre-made by Adobe. And you can choose them from the list just by hitting load 3D LUT. So for example, I can choose the one called Fuji Eterna 250D. And as you can see, some effect was applied. I can choose anything that is here, but one thing I have to say, uh, these are not ideal for most of the images. Sometimes it might match to your images. Sometimes the effect that you will find here might suit, but it's always very important to work with opacity, work with the blending mode, um, and switching between the blending modes, you can achieve some interesting colors. But as I said, most of that is not actually ideal. But the good thing is in Photoshop, you are able to create your own 3D LUTs. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. I am going to open other image without any layers because it will be easy to create some good looking color lookup table. So right now, as I have an empty layer, we are going to create some very simple color lookup table, something not very complicated. So let's say I'm going to start with color balance and we'll apply some colors to the shadows, maybe something called there. It's very important to remember best would be to create on this image. If you, we plan to create for the same images, I just don't want to remove the layers right now. I could do it. I could create a stamp here and do it on this image, but for presentation uh, purposes, I will do it on some other image. And I believe it will suit for this image as they are fairly similar and are still from the same set. So for the shadows, a little bit colder and for the highlights, maybe some of the warmer tones, just like this. Let's have a look before, after, not too bad. I'm going to change blending mode to color. And then I'm going to add some contrast maybe by using brightness contrast. So a little bit brighter, some more contrast. Maybe something more and uh, what we could do here, maybe a little bit work with curves and exposure after all. So we got more contrast. I will change it to luminosity and the previous one as well. And at the end, I would like to work with exposure just a little bit. So I'm trying to Use some gamma correction, maybe in this case. It's something very rare, but I just want to apply some random adjustment layers to show you that anything you use can be used later in the creation of color lookup table, whether it's photo filter, even the solid color gradients, everything can be used in creation of color lookup table. So we have these few different layers. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to file, export, and then we need to find color lookup tables. So we have the description of the lookup table. I can change it and name this as the test lat. Quality, 
I keep as the high formats. I can save it in few different formats, but we can also save it only as the cube or tree DLAD. I checked cube, hit OK, and now choose the location where we want to save it. So I'm going to save it where my course is, maybe somewhere here, and I'm going to name this as test number one. Hit save. And the LAD is created. So I am going back to my image. I'm going to choose load 3D LAD over here. And then I'm going to find the LAD that I just created and see how it's going to look on this image. I save this here, test one cube, open it. And as you can see, it doesn't look too bad. It's actually very soft. So I believe it could be the effect could be a little bit stronger. And um, the change of the color is not that big. And the reason for this is, of course, I just noticed uh, that we set the blending mode on the color. So if I change to normal, I was surprised why the contrast are not changing because we're working with light. And as you can see, uh, the image got much brighter because we were working on contrast. It's not ideal. I believe the light is a little bit too strong over here. So I would create this a little bit more subtle, but that was the first try. And if I see it doesn't suit, and if the colors doesn't suit, I'm trying to create another one that will match finally. And then once the LUT is created, I can apply to the other images. The one thing that you might also be interested in creating the color lookup tables, if you want to have them here in the list, I don't like to keep them here. I prefer to load them. But in case you want to have it there, you can just go to place you saved it. So that was in the location we're looking at. So it was in the courses and over here. So you can just hit right and copy. Once you create, of course, the proper LUT that you are happy with, then go to applications, Adobe Photoshop, CC 2019 in this case, presets, 3D LUTs, and you can paste it here. Then you have to close the Photoshop open again and you will have this on the list. So this is how you work with color lookup tables and that's how you create your own color lookup table. So then you can speed up your color grading process. And not only because you can create, of course, color lookup tables that are universal for colors and lights.